there's a plugin that's on a lifetime deal that can help you create announcements on a WordPress site. Now it's really affordable, but I think it's kind of simple. So in this case, I'm going to help you decide if you should get this or not. So let's go check it out right now. What's up, everyone? My name is George, and I'm going to show you this WordPress plugin that's called the WP Announcements. Now, right now it's on a lifetime deal, and that's why I think you should consider this. But let me show you the feature so you can decide if you should grab this or not. Now, the $29 deal gets you five websites and unlimited updates. If you need more sites, jump to plan two, which is $58 for 50 sites. Now, in this case, I already have it installed on my WordPress site. But before I show you this, let's go ahead and check out the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So you plan to grab a hosting plan, do check out the link in the description with the extra discount coupon code. Go to hosting, go to web hosting, and you're going to find the share hosting plans, which are really affordable. In this case, let me show you this one, which is the most popular one. So I'm going to choose this plan. And once you're here, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? So if you pay 48 months in advance, you're going to lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 48 months. Now, the, the discount coupon code, you're going to apply it right here. So add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, and apply it, and the price is going to drop even more. All right. So let's go check out the plugin. So in this case, I'm going to create an announcement right now really quickly for you. Let me go ahead and name this. I'll just say test and I'm ready to select one of the layouts that I have. Now, in my personal opinion, I think layouts are too basic. Well, they're nice, but they should have way more. All right. So that's my first thing that I recommend that you think about when grabbing this deal. So in this case, let me go ahead and select this one, which is the Black Friday one. But you have options like custom toolbar, to top bar, sorry, and custom banner. But in this case, I'm going to select this one. Next, I'm going to go to content and I have to edit the content from here. So I think that's a big uh, of a letdown. I, I wish the content was updated automatically once I change this and I can visualize the changes, but it's not optional here. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to say 40% off and it's going to be a back right now. It's going to be a sumo day offer. All right. I could write a message here, a message interval in seconds, the button text. I'll just say, get offer. There we go. And the link to the offer, right? So in this case, the hashtag, because there's no link yet. And I'm going to leave it like that just for testing purposes. Next is the styles on so styles. We have some options here. For example, the height, the position, top, bottom, fixed text color, and obviously all the colors available here. Make it sticky, make it sticky on mobile. Yes or no. And the rest of the colors. Again, things that I wish that they added more options, maybe upload an image. Maybe we want, we don't want a fixed color in there. So more options would be nice, right? And then the settings for this, the settings, you have the CSS selector, which obviously you can make a whole bunch of modifications, but I mean, not everyone knows CSS and it's more time consuming, right? And then you have options like start and expire ads. For example, if next week I'm going to launch a deal that's going to last two days, I'm going to set the start date and the end date, and it's going to stop automatically. All right. Next we have pages where I want to show this hide on mobile, hide close button, delay before showing. I always think this is a good idea. I don't want to show a pop-up right in the beginning. So maybe you give it 30 seconds, one minute and the auto close after X amount of seconds also and allowed countries disable on single page. Yes or no. And those are the settings that you're going to get. So in this case, I'm going to publish it. Let's go open up the page and we should see this pop up right now. And here it is 40% off and get the offer. In this case, like I said, there's no link, but here it is. That's how easy it is to create an announcement with the VP announcements. Now, as I mentioned before, I think it can get way better if they make the visual customizations with the content. So if I'm modifying content and styles, I want to see the layout visually for the changes. So I think they should really work on that if they plan to make this really successful. But right now, I think it's pretty affordable, especially because it's a lifetime deal and you get these amount of sites. So if you don't have an announcement plugin and you need something easy and right away to pop up, then this could be a good option. And remember, don't forget there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. So there you go. That's the VP announcements.